exporting sequences using Adobe Media Encoder. So when we're in Premiere Pro and we have our timeline selected down here and, our, and we want to go up and we want to typically export our media, we come up into our export settings and we could set this up any way we want here. Uh, let's say I was setting some up for a uh, maybe a mobile device, right? And I get this all set up. If I go down here to Q, this will add this to Adobe Media Encoder Q. So I click on Q, it's going to fire up Adobe Media Encoder. This is a cool program. Now, I suppose you could do all this in... Uh, Premiere Pro. This comes with Creative Cloud, this Adobe Media Encoder. But what it kind of does here is it comes up here and it says, ah, we can build different uh, sequences. And let me get rid of this, uh, this one here. Let me remove that. I'll say yes. So you can see here, I'm going to export, export the sequence to a YouTube 1080p full HD and I'm going to export it out to a mobile device 1080p. Well what happens if I want to make this for other social media platforms all at one time? I can come up here and I can come in here and say well I could add a source, I could add an output, so let's add an output. It created another output, I'll keep the same format, that's fine, but I'll change the preset. Maybe I'm going to go to a Twitter, right? Um, so I'll go to Twitter. And so now it created its preset to Twitter. Let's go and put in another output. Oops, sorry. Let's go and hit another output of the same sequence. And I'm going to change that. And let's say, you know, um, and they don't all have to be of the same uh the same uh, resolution. Let's say I go to Facebook 720. And so it's now creating these four different outputs of formats. And I come over here and I can tell them what folder they're in. They all can go into different folders. I can click on it and say, ah, oh, yeah, I can see that I was really supposed to put them all here. And I could probably say something like, this is Graywell's hole number nine. Um, and yeah, I know, sorry. And I'll just put a dash, um, YouTube. Let's, for example, so I'm going to keep track of them, right? I'll say save. And so I can have them go into different folders, right? And just click on here and I'll say, yep, um, we're going here. And this one here, I'll just call it that and we'll get rid of that. And I'll say this one is going to uh, mobile, all right? And uh, I'll say 1080, 1080p, and and etc. So all I have to do then is set all this up, and when I'm done, I just come over here and I start the queue. And it will create all these different uh, files and formats uh, and put them in the proper places. And I can do all this at once. I don't have to do it independently like I would have to in Premiere Pro. So if you have a set bunch of uh, social media platforms that you create to, you can have this all done for you. And you can bring in other sources and you can actually save these things. But... I'm telling you, this media encoder is really slick, and uh, you should give it a try. It comes with Creative Cloud, and uh, so all you have to do is populate it and let it rip and sit back and enjoy. So this is exporting sequences to Adobe Media Encoder.